Hi guys, so this is going to be pregnancy week 21 update for you all. Um, I don't really have a lot of new symptoms this week. A lot of them have just kind of rolled over from last week to this week. But um, I did get the results from my doctor visit this past Wednesday. Um, based on the ultrasound that I had done when I had the gender scan, she went over that with me. So I do have a bit of news there to share with you guys. Um, if you follow me on my Facebook fan page, then this is obviously not going to be any news to you, you know, because I obviously update there, uh, before I do here. So, anyways, I turned 21 weeks just this past Friday on October 11th. Today is Sunday. I had my doctor appointment this past Wednesday on October 9th, and... My weight, sorry, <laughs> my throat keeps like choking up on me here. Um, my weight was 139 still, so I still haven't gained anything. My doctor did say that, um, they're kind of looking at it this way. I dropped down to 133, um, but I did gain a couple pounds, and this was back when my mom had passed away. Um, and I was 135 when I went to that visit, and then... Now I'm up to 139, so she's kind of looking at it that I've already gained four pounds in this pregnancy, which really I'm looking at it like I've only gained, you know, one, maybe two pounds because my weight fluctuated between 137 and 138 uh, pre-pregnancy, so I'm kind of looking at it that way. Uh, but as far as like pre-pregnancy goes, I am only one, maybe two pounds more than what I was before I got pregnant, so... Really not too bad considering I'm in my, you know, sixth, fifth, sixth month, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, um, my blood pressure was really good also at that doctor visit. Uh, she reviewed the ultrasound results with me and told me that everything looked good. The baby's organs, heart, all that stuff looked really, really great. Um, however, the baby is measuring really small. Um... <clears throat> She called it IUGR, and if I can pronounce this first word correctly, that stands for the I in that, it's introterine. Um, I may be saying that wrong, introterine. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Anyways, you guys can Google it, <laughs> IUGR. Um, it's called introterine growth restriction, and basically that refers to a condition in which a unborn baby is smaller than it should be because it is not growing at a normal rate inside the womb. After she explained that to me, she told me that she is going to go ahead and schedule me another ultrasound, and I got that scheduled for October 24th um, with a specialist that will be at 1.50 that afternoon. Um, and I'll also have a consultation. The doctor will review all the results with me at that visit. Um, my doctor did say it was common. It's Definitely not something rare, um, but she said because I have good size um, babies, she just wants to double check and make sure that there's no like underlying health issue going on with the baby um, so far in this pregnancy. The common cause of IUGR could be placenta, um, which basically the placenta, most of you know, that provides you know the oxygen and the nutrients to the baby. So if there's something going wrong with the placenta, then the baby is not getting the proper amount of neither of those, um, causing it to not grow as good as it should. Um, so they're definitely going to be checking that out at this ultrasound. If that checks out okay and that's not the problem, it could just very well be a maternal factor where he or she is taking after me. Um, when I was born, I was 3 pounds 5 ounces. I was a very, very tiny baby. So, so that could also be... A cause as to why this baby um, is smaller than my other babies have been. If this baby at my next ultrasound is diagnosed with IUGR, I will most likely have um, more ultrasounds done throughout my pregnancy to make sure the baby's still growing, it hasn't stopped growing, make sure everything is still functioning the way it should be um, as far as the placenta goes and the baby itself. Um, but if this baby is born with it, there are some risk factors. Um, it could be born with a really low birth weight, decreased oxygen levels, hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar, low resistance to infection, low APGAR scores, which is a test given immediately after the baby is born. Um, that's to check the physical condition and determine if the baby needs any special kind of medical care. 
meconium aspiration where they inhale their feces while still in the womb before delivery, um, trouble maintaining body temperature, abnormal high red blood cell count, and in severe cases, stillbirth or long-term growth problems, um, which I pray if anything, you know, none of those are an issue um, and that this baby is just measuring small. She said at that ultrasound, which I was just like a day or two, I think, shy of um, 20 weeks. Um, actually a day. I was a day shy of 20 weeks because I had my appointment on a Thursday and my 20 week rolled over that Friday. And the baby was measuring 13 ounces, which I thought that was a pretty good weight um, according to my books. But I don't know, I guess from where they measure like the femur bone, you know, to determine, you know, the actual like gestation, gestational age and all that good stuff, um, the baby's was measuring smaller. Um, my baby was measuring in the ninth percentile and the way that they determine IUGR, if the baby is measuring below the 10th percentile in weight or height or both, then that's how they diagnose it and they have you go on and have a specialist do an ultrasound to determine it and to see what the causes are and if that's really what it is or if there's some other underlying issue going on. Um, I've never had any issues with any of my pregnancies, so this is definitely something new. Um, even though my doctor said it was common and it's not rare, there have actually been babies that, you know, women at my same, you know, pregnancy time have had babies that are in the fifth percentile. So, you know, the fact that my baby is in the ninth percentile, I kind of look at it, well, it's not as bad as it could be, you know, and it's actually if it's below 10th. So it's kind of like we're just borderline right there. So hopefully nothing's wrong. My doctor did say maybe here in the next couple weeks when I have that ultrasound done, the baby has caught up with its growth. Maybe it'll hit a growth spurt. Um, but I told her that was that. I was like, I definitely don't feel like this baby is small. I feel like I'm showing a lot more with this pregnancy than I have any of my others at this time. But um, she said, well, we're going to double check just to make sure. Because sometimes your uterus can still continue to grow like it's supposed to. But, however, the baby may not be. And there may not be enough amniotic fluid in there for the baby to grow in. So, that'll be checked as well. Um, my symptoms for this week. I've got a really nasty burn. <laughs> I just noticed that. Um, I did that last night making a shirt on my iron. Yay. Anyways, my symptoms this week have been... Um, like I said, some of them have rolled over from last week, but I actually got sick this week for the first time in quite a few weeks. Um, but that was due to my vitamins. There is just something in my vitamins that are not always going to agree with me. It doesn't matter what vitamins I take. I think it's just an increase in um, different kinds of vitamins inside the pill that just, you know, during certain times of the day, it's just not going to agree with me. It's not going to agree with me if I eat something. And that's the thing, like I was eating and um, took my vitamins and I don't know if it was just the food I ate that, you know, kind of made it act up, but it did not agree with me. <laughs> so I was like, oh boy. So, and I took it because I had actually skipped a couple days and, you know, it was just the day after I had that ultrasound and was, or the day after I had my doctor's appointment and was told that the baby had a growth restriction. So I was like, you know, I need to, you know, keep, you know, on top of my vitamins and quit skipping days here and there because, you know, that's really important. So I took them, you know, thinking of my baby and they ended up making me sick. So, yeah, not fun. Even Flintstone vitamins, they're not really agreeing with me. <laughs> Don't know what the problem is, but this pregnancy, my body is just rejecting prenatal vitamins or vitamins of any kind for that matter. I've had sensitive bleeding gums. Um, only when I'm brushing my teeth though and it's mainly like when I'm brushing like the front of my bottom teeth or like the back of my bottom teeth that's where the bleeding comes from it's not really anywhere else it's just like right in here and on the back um, that could be due to you know like inflamed gums and increase in blood flow I have had very few Braxton contractions this week I actually told my doctor about them and um, she said just increase your fluids because that will help keep them down. She didn't really act like it was a big deal, um, but I don't know, it kind of concerned me a little bit because I've never had them this early in pregnancy, and then I take into consideration that, 
you know, the baby is measuring smaller than it should be. And I told my husband since the beginning of my pregnancy, I just don't feel like my uterus is as strong, <clears throat> excuse me, as it was in my previous pregnancies, obviously, because I have had my uterus cut into twice now. So I, you know, it kind of concerns me, but she didn't seem to find it as a big concern. I actually got a contraction whenever she had me lay back on the table to check the baby's heartbeat, which by the way, the baby's heartbeat was 138. So that was pretty good. Um, this baby still got a really low heart rate. And my doctor actually said, um, she's guessing a boy just because of the heart rate. But she was like, obviously, I don't know what it is because she said, when you go in for your gender scan, they don't tell you, well, they don't tell her what the baby's gender is. So she said that would have to be something that I tell her. So um, that kind of made me feel better because I was a little worried and I told you guys in the last video about going in and her being like, oh, congratulations on your little girl, you know, before I even got to say anything. <laughs> so no, she does not know what I'm having, but she is guessing boy just by the heartbeat. Um, but yeah, when she had me lay back, my uterus hardened up so hard. She was like, oh, let me go ahead and measure your stomach since your uterus is pretty good and firm. So that measured right on the spot. You know, my uterus is measuring just right there where my belly button is, which is where it should be right now. Um, so yeah, she was pretty amazed by how <laughs> my uterus contracted just from sitting up like I am now and then laying back. It kind of triggered it. So um, yeah, I've got to watch certain things I do as far as my activity level goes. Something new I've noticed this week is my feet start hurting and aching really, really bad whenever I'm standing on them any longer than 20 to 30 minutes. I have been making stuff for my gender party and I've been on my feet these last couple days a little over this past weekend um, making things so I haven't really you know sat down oh, that fly you guys probably keep seeing it fly in front of my camera it's driving me nuts <laughs> like a major distraction here um, but yeah I've been standing on my feet a lot this past weekend and um, it's been causing my feet that fly is getting on my nerves. <laughs> um, so it's been causing my feet to hurt and ache a lot. Um, but I haven't had any swelling in my feet, so that's really good. I'm still craving sweets at night, especially cereal and ice cream. There's this ice cream that I got not too long ago, and um, it is called Cupcake Party. And it is from Kroger, and it's the Kroger brand. And I have to say, it's the best ice cream I've ever had. It's got actually the little sprinkles in it. It's vanilla ice cream. And it's also got like chunks of, I don't know if it's like cake or icing. I can't, I still can't decide which it is. It's like the second half gallon I bought. And I still don't know what it is, but it's really, really good. <laughs> that fly is driving me nuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, anyways, the baby this week is moving around and kicking a lot. Some kicks are stronger than others. I've definitely noticed a pattern now with the activity of the baby in the morning, it's not so much. Like right now, I think it's just short of noon and the baby hasn't, I think I felt it move like maybe once or twice, really light movements. Um, but really right around at the afternoon after lunch, up until about eight or nine o'clock at night is when I start really feeling it move. Um, and those kicks just kind of seem like they get stronger as the day progresses. So, um, I guess that has something to do with maybe eating, you know, eating more during the day and the baby's getting kind of hyped up inside my uterus. The baby this week is the size of a carrot. The baby weighs three quarters of a pound. So just about one pound is what little ones should be weighing, which may or may not be due to the growth restriction and it measuring smaller than it should be right now. Um, the length of the baby is about 10 and a half inches long. And I don't have any baby buys for this week because I've been so busy um, getting things ready and prepared for this gender party. Even though I have a friend planning it, um, I told her I wanted to help out as much as possible because I know things get expensive. And I enjoy, you know, party planning and doing stuff like that anyway. So she was like, sure, go ahead, help as much as you want. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I have done so far. And then we'll do a belly shot and a live weigh-in. So I have been working on some shirts for my boys and the shirts that I have done for my boys are part of the theme for the gender party, um, which most of you know is like usually lips and mustaches or it could be like bow ties and bows. But for mine, I chose to do mustaches and lips. So Timothy is definitely guessing girl my oldest so he is going to get a teen pink shirt with pink lips on it 
It's just on a basic solid tee, solid white t-shirt. Um, and I actually had a pack of these from where I make shirts from my boutique. So I used one of these and it just says Team Pink. So he'll be wearing this one. And then Caleb's is, I wanted to go ahead and do the opposite. So I did Team Blue for him. And his has got the mustache on it. So once again, it's just a basic solid white t-shirt. Had quite a few of these left over, so I just used them. Um, and yeah, these were a lot of fun to make, but very time consuming. <laughs> um, so I got them both their shirts done this past weekend. I also did these. These are little pins that you wear on your shirt after you, um, well, I'll show you that other part here in a minute. But um, <laughs> it just says, where are your guests? And basically, and I'm going to have to make more of these because I don't think this is going to be enough for everybody. I think I have 23 in here. Um, and I think I'm going to have to get another pack of <clears throat> clothes pins. I think you get like 24, but I think you can actually get them cheaper than than what I paid for these. I think I paid like $3 and something just for 20, 24 pack of clothes pins. Um, and one went missing, so I had 23. So, and there's supposed to be like 50, 60 something people at this party. So I really don't know who all is going to show up. You know how that goes. Some people say, oh yeah, I'll be there. And then some don't show up. You know, they got things that get in their way. So Anyway, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna go and buy another pack. And basically on each clothespin, it'll say she or he, or it'll have lips or a mustache. And you can just clip it on the top collar of your shirt or anywhere you want. And it just kind of gives everybody an idea of what you are guessing for this little one to be. So I made that. <clears throat> I had also made a banner and I really wanted to show you guys it. But this is really all I can show you for now because it is so big and there's like three or four different pieces to it because it's it's kind of a long saying. It says, um, will it be a he or she? And then it has like the question mark and the lips and the mustaches and all that stuff on it. But um, I got these cute little ribbons with bows and stuff and there's like, well, let me see if I can show you guys one of them. Okay, I would have pulled out the longest one. Um, you can see it's got little... Um, bows in between each letter and then at the end it's got the big bow but yeah I will um, include a picture here so I can show you guys what it looks like a little bit better um, it wasn't too time consuming I mean just a printer and some ink that's all you need. And I'll include all the links in the down bar below where I found all this stuff online because um, it was all free printables. So, um, and very, very cute stuff. And, you know, that kind of thing can be expensive. So, and I like making stuff. Like, I'm a very crafty person. So, um, all the links for these different things will be in the down bar below for you guys. Um, there is going to be a, let me show you guys this here in a minute. Should have had all this in order and I didn't. Um, there's going to be a ballot box or some little ballots and then a box for you to put your ballot in. And, um, I think, I don't remember if I showed you guys these or not. I don't think I did unless I did it on my Facebook fan page, but these are the baby ballot cards and it just says baby ballot card. You'll write your name and then it says check a box to cast your vote and you can either check the mustache or the lips. And then whenever you get it filled out. You will take your guess and place it in this box that I decorated. And I just basically decorated it with um, printer paper. <laughs> and um, I guess I could have painted it, I guess, but I didn't really have a good enough paint to do it. My paints were acrylic, and the bo this specific box was actually a Kleenex box. So I just did it this way, and I figured I could decorate um, the matching designs and stuff. So that side says she. But basically, you'll just take your ballot and slide it in. And then at the end of the party, after we've cut into the cake and it's been determined whether it's a girl or a boy, we'll go through and pull out the right ones of everybody that guessed, and um, then they all win a prize. So that is that. And then this will actually go with it. Um, I have this frame, and I just added some bows to it. And one up here. And um, then it just says, who will it be, a he or she? So that'll go with that. Um, 
And then I've got these right here, which I thought were pretty fun. I wasn't going to do these at first, and then I thought, you know, these would be kind of fun for the guest. So um, printed these off. These have not been cut out yet. These have. Um, these are water bottle labels, and this is each of the designs that I have. So I'm going to go Wednesday and buy a 24 case of water bottles because there's also going to be blue and pink punch there too. Um, but I'm going to get another case of water and place these around the neck of the bottle. And it's kind of like something fun for the guests to have based on what they think the baby's going to be. And I'll include a picture of the finished product here. Like I said, all the links for all these things will be in the down bar below for you guys to check out if you know someone who is planning a gender party or if you're planning one for someone or if you're planning one for yourself. Um, I'm also making fortune cookies. I have a picture of one here that I'll include from where I was practicing making them yesterday. So they're really easy to make but kind of difficult because you have like a 30 second window to get the thing out of the oven flip it over while it's still hot, get it folded up, put your fortune in it, you know, and then place it in a muffin tin or something that'll hold its shape until it gets hard and brittle because if you wait too long to fold your cookie, it'll break. So, takes a little while um, and they're very time consuming, but they're very easy to make. But these are the different little things that I'm gonna put on the inside of them. Um, there's going to be girl or boy, and all these things are gonna have question marks. Um, bow or bow tie pistols or pearls, and team pink and team blue. So I'm going to make 50 of those. And like I said, those are going to take me the longest. Those are going to be so time consuming. Um, I went and bought some things for the goodie bags. Um, wow, this video is getting long. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I had bought some mints, and these here are... Um, baby boy mints and then I also got the girl ones so we got the girl ones and the boy ones and these will go in the goodie bags and I got these here which are like pacifier candies they're called oh baby pacifiers which I think I'm gonna have to get another bag of these because I don't think that's gonna be enough <laughs> for 50 goodie bags so maybe one or two more bags of those will do um, here are the little bags that I bought to put those in, um, or all the little stuff I just showed you. And then, I, these didn't come with twist ties, so I had to buy some, and I just got some silver ones. They didn't really have any pink or blue ones, so I just got silver ones, and there's 50 in here of those, so got these. Um, and I'm going to put the fortune cookies in there too. I'm actually going to take a Ziploc baggie, cut off the Ziploc top part of it, Place a fortune cookie in there and then fold it up and it'll kind of fold up like a treat bag. It's kind of like cutting off the ziplock and then dropping your fortune cookie in there. And then I'm going to fold up the top and I'm going to tie it off with um, either, I don't know if I want to do, I may just do this part instead. For the fortune cookies, tie it off with blue and pink tool. Um, and then for the goodie bags, I'm going to tie off pink and blue bows at the top of those. And then there's also going to be these little thank you things that I'm going to cut out and place on the goodie bags as well. And then there are just some different mixed up ones there, pink and blue. And basically all I did here for to show you guys for an example is um, I just took a little hole punch and punched a little hole. And then I'm going to take the ribbon and just slide it through the hole and um, attach it to the goodie bag. So we've got pink ones and blue ones. So that is all the baby buys. Yes, I wanted to double check. If I come across anything else that I forgot, I will include it in this video. So we'll do a belly shot real quick and then I will do a live weigh in for you guys. So here's belly shot for week 21. I guess I'm still carrying pretty high. My niece is pregnant too and she's carrying lower than I am. But I don't know, I feel like I've always carried kind of high, but I feel like I'm carrying up and straight out. Not so much like a watermelon, which they say when you're pregnant with a girl, you can carry like a watermelon. But I feel like I'm just carrying kind of up and out. 
definitely grown. Okay, guys, let's do a live weigh-in. Okay, so last week and this past Wednesday, I weighed 139. So let's see if I'm still the same. 140. So I've gained a pound. Wow, haven't seen 140 on a scale in quite some time. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll talk to you all next week. Hey guys, so that sums up week 21. I hope you enjoyed everything um, and all the stuff that I had bought and made for the gender party. I will include gender video and pictures from the party. So you guys will be up to date on everything. And um, most likely, if you aren't part of my Facebook fan page, definitely go check it out. The link for that will be in the down bar below because I will probably most likely update there before I do here on YouTube of what we're having. So um, go check me out there. And if you're new to my channel and you're not a subscriber but you came across this video or a previous one, definitely click subscribe up there at the top. And also, you guys, I have got a giveaway going on. I'll include the link in the down bar below. Um, so definitely check that out also. It's for a True Kid Sports Stick. If you haven't heard of it, there is a review I did just a couple days ago. Um, that is just a few videos down. I'll include the link for that as well in the down bar below. And you just enter through Rafflecopter and True Kid will contact you after tomorrow if you are the winner. And they will be responsible for shipping you your prize. So yeah, definitely check out that review and go enter in that giveaway. And I will talk to you all next week for week 22. Bye guys.